Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today let us talk about Python exceptions, uh, exceptions and error handling. So usually a Python script or program terminates as soon as it encounters an error, right? Uh, maybe it's a syntax error, a coding error, right? Or it's, second one is if it's an exception, that is a system error. So human error and system error. Let me uh, post my notes here. So this is what I meant. A Python script or program terminates as soon as it encounters an error, that is syntax error or machine error, uh, human error. Then you have exceptions, that is logic error or human error. Uh, we can use, uh, there are um, uh, various Python methods which we can use to um, handle these exceptions. One of them is, uh, one of them is try, and then you have try, accept, else, finally, raise, exception, write assertion. Let's go ahead and have a look at all this. Okay, let me change this to markdown. Okay, here we go. All right, so first thing what we're gonna discuss is syntax error. Syntax error. I wish there was a markdown button here, you know, where we can do a scroll down. Okay, so, yep. Mm. Let's see, see a small, very small example on uh, Python here. And I'm going to do one more closure. Uh, so what does it say? It says invalid syntax, syntax error, right? Uh, that is coding error, human error. I did the mistake. I opened it only once, but I closed it twice. I have two closure parentheses brackets. Uh, the error is by me, right? So, um, okay. So then I have, let me go through a loop here. Try in range two, we have print i, and I'll do, an, I'll do another mistake here. I will say i. I'll put a single quote, then I will do a third mistake here. Print i, then I'll do another mistake, fourth one. Print i, yeah. Shift enter, what happened? It says line three, one, two, three. EOL, end of line while scanning string literal, right? So what type of error is it? It's a syntax error, EOL while scanning string literal. So here it's telling me an, at what line the error is and where exactly the line is. It's pinpointing it. So it wouldn't be hard for us to, it will not be hard for us to check this out. So let's control A, control C, control V here. Let me correct that error message, shift enter. Now it tells me line four. So at line four, I have one more invalid syntax. That is this. So let me correct that one. Shift enter. Now it says line five, unexpected intent. Okay, so let me correct that one too. What happens here is, all right, hopefully it's fine. Okay, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So whenever it encounters the error message, the, at the first error message, uh, Python breaks the flow informs you about the error, you correct that error message, then you rerun it. So flow is going to be uh, interrupted as soon as Python encounters the first error in your entire flow. So this is an entire flow. If it encounters an error here, it will stop, it will not run the rest of the code. And that's useful. Uh, and sometimes if you don't, uh, you might not want to do that. And there are other ways of achieving that. Okay, so Okay, so this is what I said. Let me have these notes for you here. And on the first one, when it said line three, right? So let me put some notes here. Okay, so let's take another example. If 
I have one plus center now. Let me reprint. Hello. Let me delete this. What happens? It says syntax error, unexpected EOL while parsing. Uh, we just witnessed that Python stopped at the first error. Uh, in normal scenarios, it helps us to stop proceeding further to avoid further errors and problems. What if we want to stop at the first error message and take some action upon encountering error and proceed further? Yeah, here we go. How do we do that? Let's take another example here. X is int input. Uh, I'm going to say please enter a number yeah and i will just shift enter i'm gonna say let me put nine it works what if i put something else i will put hi it tells me invalid literal for int with base 10 hi value error so here system encountered an error and it also tells me what type of error message it is as usual it also uh, pinpoints a line where the error occurred right in this line so now we are getting an exception why because there is an int casting on the input i have put a casting here i have told python that the input has to be of the type int okay so casting on the input that a user is going to provide, right? So okay, so now we have uh, our savior. Try we are going to use this. Try then we have code. Then we have accept. Then we have code, right? So this is going to be our savior in this scenario, right? So let us go ahead and try the same thing. Now, copy paste. I'm going to take this one. Replace this here code. Except, I will say value error. That means if you encounter value error, instead of like going bonkers over it, go ahead and print this message out. Please enter an integer. So I'm going to say nine works fine. I'm going to say hi. Okay, I didn't say anything. Hi. Yep. Please enter an integer. So instead of giving this bonkers message you now with all this red background, you're going to get a nice uh, custom predefined message. This is how you handle errors. Now this one looks a lot cleaner, right? Now the other looks cleaner. First time we handled an error message properly. So let's take this example, another one. Try x input, uh, let's say this thing, right? Hmm. Input a number. And then I will say I will want to print x. Then I want to do a floor division of that. Then I want to print that out, print y. Then I want to do print y again. Okay, let's do this uppercase y. Even though it is not there, we want to get some error messages. Except, value error. And I'm going to say print, please enter an integer. I'm going to enter nine. All right, what happened here? Now it says zero division error. So where did the error message occur? Four, fourth line, one, two, three, four. So here, four can't be divided by zero because you will get an error message integer division or modulo by zero and it's so mathematically that's an error 
So what are we going to do? Uh, why don't we just skip all error messages, right? Let's do this. Um, you know, I don't want to get the zero division error and then there is a name error. Let's say if I remove this and uh, I'll just comment this out. And now we will see, I will say nine. And now it says name error, name Y is not defined, this one. Okay, so I'm tired of this. So I will go ahead and ignore all the error messages. How? Right, I'm gonna say accept, and uh, I'll just give a generic name to it, and I'm going to print that out, except exception as he, and uh, I would like to print E, yeah print E and if we don't get any error message else print we did not get any errors yeah our exceptions whatever. I will say nine integer division or modulo by zero so this is their message that we got it's passing it out it's printing it out here cleanly and clearly what if i take this and print again put high here invalid literal for int with base 10 high so that's a, a wrong type of message right then let's take this another one right uh, we will add another one now instead of l i mean after else we will do finally print I will run no matter what and that is why I am called finally and uh, I will say hey invalid literal integer int with base 10 hey I will run no matter what and that is why I am called finally so this one and this one right so now we are using try except else finally to handle our errors finally statement runs no matter what whether you encounter an error or not it runs all the time so this is great when you want to use some code or statement at the end to intimate that the code script has finished running finally can be used for like you know, let's say you want to clean up some you want to perform some cleanup activities as well we can also use a raise statement to raise our own exceptions how are we going to do that you will see now with another example i will say name is input enter your name here and then I will do print name um, uh, here I will just say ram it prints ram then I will do jl equals this batman superman Flash, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, right? I'll do name. Okay, input. Which hero do you want to call? Which hero uh, do you want to call? I go ahead and. Mm, this is the message hit enter and i will do say batman but i have not defined any activity so it will do anything right so let me define uh, some more activities what i want to do with that if name not in jl that is whatever name that i have typed here it's not in this list i want to raise an exception raise exception f double quote double quote parenthesis name 
is not part of Justice League, yeah? And else print f calling name here we go so i will type batman okay calling batman right then i will type ram it says ram is not part of justice league so i'm calling someone who is not there absolutely it makes sense it is throwing an exception as we designed or as we designed it to be assertion is another um, error handling method where it's not exactly an error handling method you can say it's kind of ensures that uh, something has to be what it you want it to be uh, assertion can also be another approach uh, where instead of running the code and raising an exception when something went wrong we can play safe where we can check first whether all is well uh, that we have put some conditions there all conditions are met and proceed only when certain conditions are met the conditions that we have defined it's like instead of admitting someone to army and hoping him to pass certain tests that is try accept method what we tried uh, what we did so far we can admit them only if they pass certain tests right i think that is how everywhere admissions to army defense or any physical fitness involved activities admit uh, members to their group let's me define a function here square assert type n is int and then return n star n so what is happening here i'm saying square five and 25 okay square five here we go assertion error we had a custom error message and that is what we got what if i do this i will say hey same thing assertion error because that is how it was supposed to be so as we can see we can get an assertion error if the assertion that we have set is not true yeah here we go so if uh, let's say we have uh, some other aspect let's say we go ahead and uh, uh, copy paste this here and put it here and I'm gonna do this I will just say nine what does it say nine is not part of just just like so irrespective of what I say it is going to raise the exception what I have put in there and also I have not done any um, assertion here that the input what you are going to put is I mean it has to be a string uh, or it has to be an integer or something like that right so it's just going to take uh, the exception that I have put and it is going to raise that exception so I think that is all I had for um, error handling in Python thank you for tuning in you have a great one Take care.